everyone so it's sam here again and today i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you how to make this seriously super duper cute whammy bracelet designed by me i know the name is pretty silly but that's okay and i really really like this bracelet i think this bracelet is so cool it has these cool like um, dividing ish kind of thing for the bands and it cannot focus right now I guess the call is so bad, but yeah, so it just, it's just, just so really, really cool, and here's the back side, and you know what, this looks that like it is made on tubing bars, but it's actually not, it is made on shaping bars, so that is why this bracelet has a ton of tension, trust me, I totally recommend using rainbow bands, if you don't, then there might be a lot of bands breaking, so um, yeah, Let's just go on with the materials needed. So today you're going to be needing a loom, a hook, a C-clip or S-clip. And of course the bands today I'm going to be using all bands are from rainbowloom.com. So for the Mother of Pearl, I'm going to be using Mother of Pearl again. And for the inner color, which are the pink jelly, electric blue purple, and the yellow chameleon bands. I changed color already. I'm using uh, mango and turquoise jelly. So first of all, you're going to be doing this super basic process, which is making a normal border on all of your pin bars. So easy. And once again, I totally recommend using limited edition bands if you have. Um, oh, I mean, <laughs> sorry. I mean, I totally recommend using official rainbow bands. I'm gonna do this side of the chain with you and I'm gonna do the other one on off camera. So I figured out, I actually realized I do videos really, really quick. So yeah. So once you're done, you're gonna close and close. Oops, stuck in my hand. Now, you're going to go back to the bottom for loom and you're going to grab the first color. I'm going to be using my turquoise jelly. And I'm going to go from this peg all the way to the other uh, diagonal part. This band placement credits to my friend, Jenna. So, we actually played in Valia's house yesterday and Jenna did came too. And, like, we have, like, a challenge, so Shannon will, like, figure out the band placement and we will do the hooking ourselves. So, yeah. So, do the same thing to the other side. And I'm so sorry if I kind of go too fast in this video. I know I'm always going too fast in every video. So, now you're going to do the same thing. <clears throat> like, if you want, like, these strips kind of thing to be like in a zigzag so the first one the left will be above and the right you're also going to be doing the same thing to the band placement so if you place the left one first on the first one and then if you want to make it in the opposite direction you can place the right one first on the next one but since i'm just going to be doing the same so um yeah it's totally up to you like people kind of like make var variations of bracelets so it will be smart enough to know oh, yeah I think so this is just a process it's really really simple this is actually the last layer of bands that are gonna place but the hooking part it is kind of pretty confusing well it's not that confusing but for beginner rumors um don't worry, I'm gonna go kind of slow, I think. But so now I'm just gonna go off camera to save my memory. <laughs> so once you're done, you're just gonna make a capping band on the last peg. Now turn your limbs around, grab a hook, and go into capping band, and you're gonna loop this border bands outwards. So and then now you're gonna go in the bands. And just ignore any bands that you can see. And you're going to grab the very, very bottom border band and just loop it forwards and do the same thing to the other side. But you're going to stop here. You're not going to be continuing upwards. So make sure you look really carefully. Don't ever skip any process. So now you can see uh, my top band is coming from this 
left right side so i'm gonna grab that one first if yours is coming from the right side and grab that one first oops oh my goodness this happens a lot so you're gonna loop it to where it belongs like that sorry the camera is moving and then do the same thing to the side like that so now again you're gonna be looping this mother of pro band flowers or any board color you're using and just if you do loop this first bands um board bands all the way up first then it's not gonna work because this bands aren't gonna be like attached or whatever you say it so yeah mm -hmm. so and then now gonna loop the bourbons forwards again this does has quite a lot of tension you know especially if you use limited edition bands but it is <laughs> it actually kind of looks prettier in limited edition bands i think but i never tried it so maybe you can try it if you want to or yeah so then you're also gonna loop this well i know i'm not going slow um I cannot go slow, I don't know. This is just my speed. Kind of. So, Shana actually um, did the band placement. Like, she actually placed, um, like, double bands for the cross. So, I did that one first. But then it looks terrible. Sorry. Well, it's my hooking. It looks terrible with double bands. So, I decided... To repeat it using single bands and it actually looks super duper goals. I love it and I hope you guys will make it. So um I know this one is so twisted. So now I'm gonna I'm did I just went off camera just now? Sorry. If I did, I'm so sorry I didn't realize because I was looping and I didn't really see the camera. I don't I cannot control myself you know so oops oops oh my hook is stuck so yeah I'm just gonna do this on camera since um most of my videos I skip a lot so yeah get there again and here this fence forwards and this one I'm gonna leave it here and there the last one so and then now you're gonna go um and um grab and uh, loop that model of probe in words I know it's not really really that focusing do the same thing to the other side oops so Here's what your loom should look like. So, and then now, I'm gonna grab my mother of pearl band and I'm gonna go inwards and I'm gonna pull a mm, mother of pearl band through. And then now, I am gonna, oops, oh here it is, the C-clip jumped, clip the bracelet, oopsie, and I'm so sorry for my real disgusting nails. So yeah, now I'm just gonna release it off my limb. There will be a lot of twisted bands, and I know that because, yeah. So yeah, here's what your bracelets look like, and thank you all so much for watching, make sure to post it on Instagram if you do make it, and I'll see you later, bye!